Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Sabbath Prep Friday, where basically we relinquish something. So today, what I'm going to be relinquishing is skeletons. Yes, something from the past. So my name is Sheila Rollins, and I'm in the founder of Shula Ministries Overco Overcomers and Anonymous Inc. And um, on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, and where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power, and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our forgiveness, our completeness, the things that we thought were impossible become possible with Jesus Christ. We just need to be obedient to his precepts, follow his laws, including his commandment, the fourth commandment, where he admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. And then we just need to do the right thing. Whatever it is, we need to do the right thing. And then Jesus doesn't leave us to do the um you know, anything on our own that he asks us to do. The Bible says that he both wills in us and also he gives us the will and the ability to do the things of his good pleasure. Okay. I hope I didn't mess that up. But anyhow, it'll be in the um, description, which is next to the arrow next to uh, the title. And then if you want to make a comment, scroll under and um, tell me, you know, about what did you do with your skeletons when they came up? What did you do with them? So, okay, um, if you haven't already become a part of this YouTube, please do. Please share, please like, please comment. Um, check out my other YouTube, which is The Pursuit to Christ, and also uh, my playlist, okay? Check out my playlist. I got Baby Mama Drama on there, the Baby Mama Dances on there I just put on there today. So you might want to check that out, all the funnies and stuff, and Mary CPR, single CPRs, um, um, ordained marriages. You know, everybody's into marriage. Okay. Uh, yes. So, okay. So recently some skeletons have come up for, um, uh, one of my loved ones and she's very upset about it. However, currently she's like 64 years old. It happens some stuff that happened when she was nine. Okay. So what do you do when skeletons come up? My suggestion would be like three things. One, to accept it. Number two, you know, if you, if you did it, if people remember it, you didn't, you know, you can apologize. Number two, you can apologize. If you offended somebody, you can apologize. Then number three, you can ask God to forgive you to make sure that, you know, if you committed a wrong act or whatever, that your sins are covered. OK, because what's the Bible said, blesses the man whose sins are covered, his iniquities are, are, are covered. OK, because when Jesus comes, remember, the Bible says the ungodly will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So therefore, when our sins come up, it's not a time to wallow in it, blame, point the finger at other people because something came up for you. OK, we all have skeletons. OK, and it's a good idea that we know what to do with it. When yours came up for you or when they come up for you, what's your plan? Do you have a plan of action to what to do with? Because basically, ultimately, it's Satan. Say, ah, ha, ha. So you think that you so good, but I remember when. And you know, that's the devil. The Bible says that he is the accuser of the brethren. So, okay, so we have to still know that we are loved and adored by God. And we can't be moved in whichever way that Satan comes, whether it's through another person, whether it's something in the past, whether it's a fear that he's trying to keep us from the future or whatever. It's Satan. And so God, the Bible says that basically he commended his love towards us while we were yet in sin. So God's not faced by sin. He's not interested in it. He wants us to be with him. Now, he's not desperate to where he just wants us with him any old kind of way. No, you got to get those sins forgiven. You know what I mean? You got to invite him into your heart and into your mind and try to live a life to where he's honored. Okay. He ain't just taking us haphazardly. He ain't desperate for no friends and no children or none of that. Okay. So this is really all I have. I'm on a time schedule. My, my, my phone is acting crazy. And so I have to Hurry up, hurry up before it starts to shut off. So, okay.
Don't forget to share everywhere, comment, subscribe, check out the description, which is the arrow next to the title. Um, check out my other YouTube, the food, the food, the food, the food. It's not the Sabbath yet, so yes, you can check out that food, okay? So, I love you. This is all I have for you. Now, to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.